I'm gonna take you to the stand. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gonna go to the stairs. Excuse me. Well, well, everybody decided to wait for the elevator. I took the stairs, which was, I bet I'll probably be waiting up here for 10 minutes or so for them to uh, get to the top up here. But we have officially arrived in Taromina here in Italy, which is pretty cool. So I don't think I can see it yet, but technically you should be able to see Mount Etna from somewhere here in town, which is where we're gonna be going here in just a little bit. But uh, we're gonna have about two hours to explore the, uh, the city here. Oh, I will. So what Lisa was just asking me about dropping a pin and in the whole, this is something that everybody should really do is that if you have service and whatnot, whenever you get dropped off with part of a tour group or whatever, always drop a pin of either the meetup location or where they're gonna be picking you up at. If it's the same as the drop off location, it will make your day so much easier. It is really surprising sometimes how easily you can get lost in some of these little cities. So keep that in mind and take it for what it's worth. If you can drop a pin, drop a pin. Um, it will really, really help you out throughout your entire trip. Well, we've made it to Terramina. Finally. What do you think so far? It's really cute. Yeah, if there's a, a fast food, I want to try me some Arancino. Aran Aran if you did say the proper way to say it here is Arancino. Aran Arancino. Aran the Aran U.S. <laughs> do we say Arancini or do we say Arancini? Arancini. Arancini. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of like little side streets here that are just yeah. really neat looking. So we're out exploring here in uh, Terramina and we're coming out of the kind of the walkways here, the little town, going through all the shops and we come out to what I think is gonna be a really, really great panoramic view. Yeah, this is an awesome panoramic view. Now, one thing that we cannot see right now, which is uh, kind of crazy, it is so hazy and uh, like there's just so much atmospheric haze that this is Mount Etna right out here. So, and we cannot see it yet, but I'm sure that it is quite high and towering up. But uh, yeah, we can't see it. It's just covered by, not fog, but just haze in the sky. Watch your camera swinging. I want to remember this little place. I love it. I'll meet you outside in a second. Okay. So we found this little stand, I guess, restaurant, if you will, quick service. <laughs> and they had some Arancino, they had pizza, they had gelato, they had cannolis and all kinds of other pastries. That's what he said in there. He said it's Arancini. Did he say Arancini? Arancini. Well, it's been fights for years, apparently, over how you actually say it. Arancina, Arancino, or Arancini. <laughs> but we got some. Two different flavors. I'm not sure which one's which. Josh told the guy to pick the two that he prefers, so that's what he did. So we're going to try them out. Uh, we're in Epcot now. Right? <laughs> We've been to Disney a few times, if you don't know that. And in Epcot, they have uh, Via Napoli. I think it's one of the worst restaurants on property. But one good thing that has come out of that is their own kind of take on uh, Arancini. And uh, I really enjoyed it there. And uh, this is, I think, a little bit better. But, you know, pretty good. I think this might be the ragu one. Very different flavors between the two of these. I don't know. I don't know which is which, but I like this one better. I know we look so flattering, but will you take a picture of us eating our Arancini on a bench in Italy? Yeah, the three of us. 
Did we not look happy? Is that why you had to say best day ever? Oh, it's cute. So Taylor, how was that lunch? Well, it wasn't really lunch. It was more of a snack, but that's what we'll have until dinner time. I don't know which one it was. So there were the two different arancini and one was like more triangular shape and the other one was like completely round. The round one was so good. Like the other one was good too, but there was something in that sauce, the flavor, it was fantastic. However, it is quite heavy, so I was not able to finish all of it. Um, so now we're gonna walk down the street just a little bit further, see if there's any other stores we wanna stop at here. But uh, that little shop was exactly what I was looking for to get a little snack, a little drink, and then just relax. We listened to some music. It was perfection. I will remember that moment. So this is super cool. We have made it to what is uh, the lava flow or the lava river. Um, I think she was saying like this maybe was like from the 90s. And uh, it's really, really crazy because from where Taylor is standing at and recording, you don't really see a lot of what's up the hill. You kind of just kind of see this mound of black, what is uh, lava and ash. But from where I'm at, I can actually see it continuing to go all the way up in uh, way up on top of the mountain is actually where the start of the lava river flow. Really, really cool. It's, um, it, it certainly could have like an apocalyptic type of feel and look to it. Uh, you know, it's only just this kind of swath that comes down and there's a house right here, which is pretty amazing that it stopped just behind, uh, this house. So really, really cool. Um, Taylor probably can't hear me, but I'm actually going to continue walking, uh, up the slope a little ways before I kind of make my way back down. I don't know how much time we have, but BRB. Oh, you want I love this. I think this is so cool. It's so different. It's so strange. Um, I don't know how far I can actually go if they're going to start yelling for me to come back, but really, really incredible to be able to be out here and like walk around and see this kind of stuff. And, uh, but even still more amazing is that like we still cannot see the summit um, or the top of Mount Etna. It is obscured uh, by clouds and by atmosphere. But I mean, just take a look at this from where I'm at, looking up the mountain where this uh, lava flow had occurred. I mean, I, how scary or crazy it must have been when this was actually flowing. All the way up there, comes back down this way to where we are. There's, oh my gosh, there's actually a house over there or something that must have got submerged. And way down there is Taylor and the rest of the group. So pretty crazy. There's Chris over there. You can't see him on the screen. Oh yeah, there he is. Just in front of the house. Now I think you do kind of have to be careful when you're walking because some of this is very uneven. It could be very sharp. Um, and it's also kind of like broken apart. There's a lot of like these holes and spaces in here. Definitely looks like this house kind of like had succumbed to uh, the lava flow. Not really a house, but this uh, structure, this building in here. And it actually looks like it survived. Like it looks like on the inside, it's pretty good and decent. And yeah, now look at that. We back up. You can see how the lava just kind of flowed right around it, surrounded it. So it's pretty crazy. Super cool though. I love this type of experience. It's just something so different. You don't really get to see this all the time. Okay, so we've arrived, arrived at what could possibly be the most important part of the trip. <laughs> A wine tasting of some local Italian wine. We are in Catania, I believe. Uh, we left Terramina a little while ago. We went to the Lava Flow River and we are ready to have some wine with some grapes grown in volcanic ash, lava, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully they tell us exactly. <laughs> 
Oh man, too bad. Another view. We might be able to get a Vetna and it is just totally obscured by the atmosphere and clouds. <laughs> Thank you. That way your bag doesn't Okay. <laughs> it's not a boomerang, it's a viral video. So come out just a little bit. One, two, three. No, no, come out now. Start out. Okay. Start out. One, two, three. So how's your wine? The wine is really good. This is like uh, sparkling. There's some bubbles in there. It is good though. Mm. Very crisp, fresh. Can't tell what flavors I feel in here, but, but it's good. So this is a pretty cool experience. When we did our MSC cruise in May, this was what I was expecting. And instead on that cruise, we went to like a place where they just talked about making wine. There were no grapes, no, beautiful villages. Yeah, we're in an actual vineyard, which is really cool. So, and uh, like Taylor said, wine's great. And they even have some uh, like little appetizers for us to enjoy. Uh, so we've got some olives and I think some bread and uh, some, I don't, I don't know what else over there, olives. olives, but very cool. So glad we did this one. Got some apples, chicky chicky pom pom. Is it pit? Yeah, I think I almost cracked my teeth. Glad I didn't. I know. Oh, they're spicy. Look out for what? We went to a wine tasting class. I can't remember. I can see it in the two of yours. Slowly goes like this, very carefully, then stop. And you'll see where the top ones, you'll see the legs are running down. Alan's currently giving us a wine tasting class. Maybe a little. Yours has a lot of legs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I think that oh, the more yes, I legs see them. you see, is more alcohol. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I see it now. I have to get it in the right light. Is it good? It's a very different flavor than the first one. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Two, three. Cute. You say you smell strawberries. I just smell raisins. It is very dry, um, but Taylor said I wouldn't like this. I could drink this one. Surprised, because he normally doesn't like dry. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't have that same like strong red wine aroma or I can, uh, but yeah, yeah. I can, I can tannin. see However, that. Yeah. I'm getting a nice warm feeling in my chest as it goes down. <laughs> Is that 13%? What do you say, 13% and up? 13 and a half. Oh, 13 and a half. So precise. Wine tasting was good. Uh, I liked that they had a little, a few little snacks to go with it. I would have preferred to actually have some chocolate to go with the red wine. Um, but I liked the first two wines first, the two whites. One was a sparkling and then one was a Savion Blanc and Chardonnay like together. Um, they were both very good. This is good too, it's just very dry. Oh, I think we're going downstairs. Oh. Thank you. Big bottles. Well, that is gonna conclude our little tour here today. We're getting ready to make our way back to the bus. I think it's like about an hour ride back to Messina. And uh, I like this. I thought this was great. Love getting through the lava. Little tour of Terramina was nice. And then ending here at an actual winery, uh, getting to taste the wine that they're making and getting to see the grapes and 
doing a little tour at the end of, of the actual facility was really cool. So I thought this was great. I think Taylor had a great time. Her microphone died. So I'm just kind of ad-libbing for her as we go. But let's head back to the ship. Maybe the video's over. Maybe the video will continue. I don't know. Tomorrow, never know. tomorrow we're in Corfu and it's going to be a super relaxing day. So ship or tomorrow. I don't know. Bye-bye.